Right, so today I'm going to show you how you can highlight rows based on a value from a cell. So here I have this data where I have dates, product, quantity and days aging. Now I want to highlight all the rows where I have this product so far. So first of all, I'm going to select the data and then go to conditional formatting and click on new rule. And from here, I'm going to click on this user formula. And here I need to enter the formula that I am going to use to test the values from the column B. So I'll enter. So this is a small condition that tests the value from the column B. So here I'm specifying the cell B2 and I'm not freezing the row numbers. So when I click OK, it will go down to all the rows and check if the value in the cell is so far or not. And now I'm going to click on format to define a uh, cell color. And I, I'm going to click OK. And here I have all the rows where I have the product so far are highlighted with the color that I have defined. All right, so now moving to second example, I want to highlight rows where I have this text HS hyphen. So now I'm gonna select the data, go to conditional formatting, click on new rules and use a formula. And in the formula bar, I'm gonna paste this formula that is based on search function. So search function will search this partial text in the cell and return the starting position of the text. So it will only return a number whenever I have this text in a cell. If the text is not there, it will return an error. And when it returns a number, that number will always be greater than zero and where my condition will met. And now I'm gonna select the format and click on the color that I want to apply. And now when I click OK, it highlights all the rows where I have this partial text HS hyphen at the starting. It doesn't matter if you have this text at starting or in the middle or at the end, but it will highlight all those rows. And now from this data, I want to highlight all the rows where days aging is above 25. So first of all, I'll select the data from A2 to D11 and then go to conditional formatting, new rule, user formula. And here I'm going to add a simple condition that says, if the value in the cell D2 is above or equals to 25. And here I'm not freezing the row. And now I'm going to click on OK to apply. And here I have my all the rows highlighted where days aging is above 25. Well, you can also use two different conditions to test and then highlight row based on that. So let's say if I want to highlight rows where the days aging is above 25 and the quantity is also above 15. So again, I'm going to select this data, go to conditional formatting, new rule and again use a formula. And here I'm going to use the AND function. So AND function is basically helps you to, to test two different conditions at the same time. And it will only return true if both of these conditions are true. And the formula that I would use is AND and the first condition is to test in the cell D2 if the number, the days is above 25 or not. And the second condition is to test in the cell C2 if the quantity is above 15 or not, above 15 or equals to 15. So again, we have two conditions to test. One is from the column D and one is from the column C. And now I'm going to select a cell color again the same color and now I'm going to click OK and see we have two rows here where the days aging is above 25 and the quantity is above 15. And here I want to highlight rows where any of the cells in the row is blank. So let's say in this row, the first row, the cell in the quantity column is blank and I want to highlight this row using conditional formatting. So what I'll do, I'll select the data and then go to conditional formatting, new rule and use a formula. And now here I'm going to add a formula using count if. So now when you use this count if function, it counts the blank cell 
in a single row. So A2 to D2, that means this row from cell A2 to D2. So if any of the cells, even more than one cells is blank, so it will return the count of blank cells. And if the count is greater than zero, the condition will met. And then our row will be get highlighted. So I'm going to click on format to apply a color. And then I'm going to click OK. And here I have two rows where a cell is blank and these two rows are highlighted. So let's say if I delete any value from any of these rows, that row will also get highlighted. And in this example, I'm going to show you an interactive way to highlight rows. So first of all, I'll create a drop down list. I'll go to data tab and click on data validation. And then from here, a list and here my source from the product column. And now I'm going to click OK. So here I have this drop down list which shows, you know, products. And now based on this data validation, I want to highlight rows. So when I select, let's say, table, I want all the rows where the product is table. I want all these rows to highlight. Now I'm going to select the data from here. Go to conditional formatting, new rule and use a formula. And here I'm going to specify a small condition to test product cell with the cell F1 where I have the drop down. So I'll say if the cell B2 equals to the cell F1 basically. And I'm going to freeze the B column and then the entire F1 cell. And I'm going to specify a color from here. OK. OK. And here I have all the rows where the product is stable highlighted. And let me change it from here. And when I select the chair, I have all the rows with the product chair highlighted.